the stops and stuff. I guess the first they said I was speeding, but they stopped me, went through my car and everything, called a couple other people, and then said my license suspended. So they were taking me to jail, and I was asking them to lock my car up and everything. And it was like, uh, we, we, we had some people here. Uh, they called somebody to come pick up my car, but it, I guess it took them like, I don't know how and ass, because when he got in the car, he cut off his little police camera or said he cut it off while they were searching my car. He, he said, uh, yeah, I'm cutting off this camera to tell you some stuff. He's like, yeah, found some uh, drugs in your car. I was like, well, I found some drugs. You need to go ahead and just charge me with him. And they was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to, uh, we're just going to like, you know, for no sus suspension of license and all that. And I'm like, well, what was happening with my car? And it's like, well, he's going to go tow it, but give us a number or something to call. We'll let him come get it. So I gave I gave him a number, and they called my cousin to come pick up my car, but it took her like two hours. But by the time she get there, all my stuff was tore up. My money was missing and stuff. I had that in my wallet, so I just cashed my check because I was going to the casino. And uh, they took me to jail, and they let me out after uh, Okay, let me, let me stop you there. How much was missing from your car? About four fifty. About four hundred and fifty dollars. And you're sure it was there? Oh yeah. Okay. I got Do you? I got documents and witnesses from work before I left work. Cause when I got off work, when I clocked out at my job, I clocked out like uh, eleven, eleven twenty. By eleven thirty-five, four. By eleven thirty-five or eleven forty. I was already getting pulled over, like 15, about 15, 20 miles from my job, because I was just going to the casino. Okay, so let me just stop you there. You had just left your job. You're on your way to the casino. You have quite a bit of money in your possession, and yeah. the police pull you over. Did they behave yeah. unprofessionally during the traffic stop? Uh, they, they just wouldn't. They would just give me bullshit questions of why, why they need to go through my car. And all this, and uh, I didn't authorize him. Then when he cut off the camera, when he got in the car while his other buddy was going to my car, he got in there and cut off my, uh, cut off the police camera. Well, hold on. Let me stop you there. How do you know that the officer cut off the police camera? Did you see him turn it off? That's what he said. Yeah. He, he said he was turning it off. And, and, yeah, I thought it was one of them old, you know, like one of them fake things, like they act like they cut it off and they still can record you or whatever. See if you're gonna admit to something or something like that. I thought it was like one of them little trickery things. Because he's like, uh, as long as he reached up and cut, I just said, Yeah, I cut the camera off. Now, uh, I let you, I just want you to know, found some drugs in your car. And I'm like, You found some drugs in my car, you need to go ahead and charge me with them drugs. You know, I said, Plus, you go through my car, I think you got two other people going through my car. They was going through my car for like 45 minutes. Okay, so hold on, let me just make sure I understand you. So you were objecting to them searching your car. You told them you did not want oh, yeah. them to search. Oh, yeah. Okay, did they search it anyway? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. They, they, I'm talking about when they, when they pulled, when, when I pulled off with me in the car, they were still going through my car. Okay, now let me stop you there. So they, you, you didn't have drugs in the car, is that right? No. Okay, and you did have money in the car. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, hold on. Where was the money exactly? Do you know where it was? Uh, it was in my, like, in my car, I got a 99 Avenger. And, like, right in the middle, where, you know, you can put your armrest where your gear shift is mm -hmm. in between you and the passenger. Mm -hmm. So, if you raise that up, there's where you throw everything in, uh, in the center console. Well, if you pick that up, that's where I got my wallet and I always keep my money. Okay. Was your wallet in there with the money? Yeah. Okay. Did the wallet make its way all the way to the jail, but the money didn't? No. No. My, my wallet was left in my car. Okay. Okay, car. great. So I, let me back up. So the wallet ultimately was still in the car when, when it got recovered by you or somebody else who was working for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And was the money actually in the wallet or somewhere next to the wallet? No, in it. Okay. And the police did. Did the police take an inventory when they impounded your car, or when they had, or when they had you held up? Did they did they say they were taking anything else out of your car? No. Okay. They, they wouldn't even. They wouldn't even lock the door. Well, hold on. I want. This is important. Did they actually impound your car or not? 
No. So wait a minute. They searched it. They took things out of it, but they didn't take the car. No, they. I guess uh, they waited for two hours for someone to come pick it up. Okay, assuming they waited there for those two hours, uh, did they take anything out of the car that they're using against you as evidence? No. Because there wasn't. Any, there weren't any drugs in the car. No. Okay, and they they arrested you for the suspended license and left the car at the scene. Yeah. And one of your friends no, came back. They, they, they actually didn't leave it. When the, but they said I was speeding. Mm -hmm. that, that was the reason why. And then, you know, got me out the car, you know, searched me and everything, asked me a few questions. Then says, uh, he says, uh, well, I've got some bad news. Uh, your license suspended, so I'm about to take you to jail. So I was like, well, can I call somebody? Or I really don't need my car to get towed because I don't have no money for that. He was like, well, give me a phone number, and then uh, I'll call uh, I'll call them and see if they'll come get it. So I gave him a phone number, and then, you know, he was like, well, could you leave your keys with us? And I'm like, no, there's no need for me to leave my keys, because we'll come coming to get my car. They got a key to my car. He was like, yeah, but what if they forget the, forget the key? And I'm like, there's no reason for me to forget the key, because, you know, there's a spare key there to the number I gave you. So at that time, that's when two other people came up. And then that's when he was outside talking, and then the two who pulled up, they the ones who went to the car, and then they was all going to the car, this and that. And I'm asking them, you know, like, what are you doing, this and this? And okay, well, I'm, I'm, con I'm confused. Are you saying that they took the car, and they impounded it, or they didn't take the car? Uh, I, all I know is when when I was hauled off to jail, they was two other officers were still going through my car. I was sitting there watching them go through it for, like, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know, but at some point when you got out, your car was either impounded or not. Did they take the car? No, no, it was never impounded. Okay, so they... they, they, they somebody, yeah, they waited there. And they said it took about two hours for someone to come, but they said, the officer said, he's going to leave his, them officers behind there and wait for whoever's coming to pick up my car to come get it. Okay, so somebody finally got your car, and ultimately yeah. your money was missing, is that right? Oh yeah, it, it was it was tore up because when when they came, they had to they had to follow the police officer to the uh, place that I was at. Okay, all right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file a complaint, and I think I have a, enough information to do that. I just want to make sure I have it correct. Your complaint oh, yeah. is that you were stopped for no reason. Is that right? Uh, well, he said I was speeding. Okay, were well, you speeding oh, or not, but... or do you know? You don't no, know. Okay. No, no, I knew I wasn't. Okay, so you were stopped for no reason. And yeah. if you weren't speeding, you, that's no reason. And when you were pulled over, you had money in the car that afterwards was no longer there, was missing. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and I think what can help, help me is if they do all these stops and they got them cameras, it'll show that the camera was cut off while they were still going through my car. Okay, and you believe that the officers tur the, turned the camera off and they told you they were turning it off. Is no, that right? No, he told me that. Yeah, okay. he, he told me this. I think his name is Deputy Reed, or I—I I don't know. The, the kind of what's the uh, what's the name of the police department? Uh, let me see. What was the name? What's the name of that? Uh, what's the name of that? Yeah, where's that car at? Hold it. Is it is it Cowley Police Department? Yeah, in, yeah, in, in Winfield, Kansas. C yeah, C O W. I guess L E Y. Yeah. Okay, and what was the officer's name, if you know? Um. One, I believe, is Deputy Reed. Either Deputy Reed or Sheriff Reed. I just remember that. Yeah, Sheriff Reed, he's supposed to be the head person that I kept trying to call that, that day since I got out of jail.